Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1470, shuffle the array. So here we are given the array nums consisting of two n elements in the form x1 to yn. Okay, we need to return the array in the form of x1, y1, x2, y2, xn, yn. Okay, now we will see the logic behind this problem. And we are going to solve this particular problem in order of n time and with this constant space. Okay, now let's dive into the solution. So we have the first example that has been given in the lead code website. We are given the number of elements, which is nothing but the nums and n is equal to three. n is equal to three is nothing but the half of my number of elements. Okay, two n will be the number of elements in this case. Number of elements in this case. Okay, here two n is six, right? n is equal to three. And the total number of elements will be six. So we have six elements. Okay. So we are going to have two variables. One is current index. Okay. And I. This I, I will run from zero to two n. Okay. The number of elements. This current variable will give me an index. that i need to place that i need to shuffle that particular element in my array okay we will see how we are going to do that so initially i will write a for loop from 0 to 2n okay this will be my i then at the start i will make my desired index as i'm just keeping it i'm just keeping it as i itself then i will write a separate function to get my desired index the current pointer is nothing but my desired in index okay so for to get this desired index i'm going to write a separate function so that function looks like if my current pointer the current is less than my n then i will make this index the current pointer as current pointer into 2 okay yes i will make the current pointer is equal to current minus n into 2 plus 1 okay this is the math here okay this is the math to get the desired index okay then what i will do is after getting my current decide index using this function using this function i will swap my i and current okay where when swapping i will make my current place value which is going to be my i right i'm going to swap this particular value will be negative so here negative means that i finished processing that element okay it means i finished the processing i don't have to do anything with that element so that particular processing it will be at most at most two for each and every element so even though we write two loops it is not order of n square it is order of n only since we have upper bound okay this is an upper bound when you have an upper bound it will be considered as linear okay now i will show you guys how we are going to do it so at the start i will run a loop from 0 to 6 so this 6 is nothing but 2 into n okay 2n so initially i will be 0 and i will make current pointer as i itself now i will write another loop i will check whether nums of i the i the element is greater than equal to 0 okay i will check my nums of i is greater than equal to 0 so 2 is greater than equal to 0 right so my loop will execute 
now i will send the current pointer to this function okay here yeah, the current pointer is zero right since we made equal to i so my current pointer will be executed in this condition here zero is less than n yes it is less than n right it's less than three okay now my current pointer will become zero again zero into two it will give me zero again right so current pointer is zero so i will swap current pointer and i okay and i will make current pointer element as negative after swapping since i and current pointer are same here since both are zero so it is pointing here only so i will make this as negative which means i have processed my two i don't have to touch two again i can now move it to the next element the loop is going to continue but it will be false in my loop right the minus two is not greater than equal to zero so i will come out of this loop and i will again go to the previous loop where here and i will pick one okay my i will become one now so i will assign that to current pointer as well current pointer also will become i which is nothing but one now again i will check whether my phi is greater than or equal to zero yes so i will send current to pointer to here current to pointer is one now so one into two which is two right so i'm going to make change my current to pointer to two initially it was one after the function my current pointer has changed to two okay now i will swap the first index and second index that is nothing but i and current pointer so i will swap one and five and i will make the current to pointer index that is two as negative which means i have processed the phi okay now i don't have to care now i is still pointing here okay i is still pointing here now i will check whether one is greater than or equal to zero in the same loop itself yes it is greater than or equal to zero again i will send the current pointer okay so current pointer is two now two into two this part will execute again two into two it will be four now current to pointer has changed to four here now i will swap one and four four will come here one will come here okay and i will make the current to pointer index as negative which means i have finished the processing now again i will check whether the i index i i still didn't change i is still pointing to one only now i will again check whether four is greater than or equal to zero yes so again my current pointer will come to the desired function so current pointer is four okay this particular condition will not execute since four is less than three right so this part this else condition will execute okay so four minus three into two plus one so one into two third index now i need to swap four and three i will swap four and three i will make the current pointer current pointer has changed to three now i will make that pointer's index value as negative again i will be here only again i will check so it goes on that's how here it works so while loop has an upper bound of two it is st still constant okay the space complexity order of one and time complexity will be linear time order of n okay now let's see the code before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting. So first, 
I will create the desired index. Okay, I will get the desired index. This is the desired index function. Okay, I will use the lambda function. Okay, i is nothing but the current pointer. Okay, so if i is less than n, that is the current index less than n, I will return i into 2, else I will make i minus n into 2 plus 1. Okay, then I will run a for loop ranging from 0 to 2 into n. Okay, then I will in at the start I will make my current pointer as i then I will write a while loop to check whether my ith index value is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, if it is greater than or equal to 0, I will go and get my desired index. Okay, I will go and get my desired index using that function. I will send my current pointer. After getting the current pointer, I will swap my i to place value and my current to place value. Okay, I will swap my i to place value and current to place value and I will make my current to place value as negative i, negative of nums of i. Okay, which I showed you guys in the explanation. Then I will write the for loop again, ranging from 2 to 2 into n. Why I'm making this? Because since I will be making my values as negative, right? Since in order to identify those things as my processed values, I will make them negative in my nums. So I will make all my values as positive. Okay, here yeah, I am making the negative values as positive. Then I will return my nums. I think it's fine. Let's run the code. So the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is order of 1. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers, guys.